So you heard from uh, Governor Evans that WEC has been people powered ever since day one. He talked about telegrams, but here's another story. Early WEC advocates loaded up Greyhound buses with petitions and sent them to every corner of the state and collected 160,000 signatures in just 10 weeks to put the Shoreline Management Act on the ballot. It passed in 1972 and has been protecting our coast and shorelines ever since. We are reminded that we walk in the footsteps of upstart dreamers. And every day, we work to live up to their legacy. We would not be here today if it was not for the founders, the board members, and the staff members who have worked for this organization over the last 50 years, protecting our state and keeping it so special. So if you've ever been on the board, uh, the staff of WEC in the past or now, Please stand. Come on, stand up. Woo! Thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you for what you have done. Are you done? Okay. From the State Environmental pa Policy Act in the 70s, to the Model Toxics Control Act in the 80s, to the Clean Energy Initiative in the early 2000s, Washington has led the nation on environmental action. This means that community voices, our public health, our ecosystem health are considered before any project is built. It means that we clean up toxic sites. It means that we have a growing solar and wind industry taking us toward a clean energy economy. And yet we recognize that challenges are bigger than ever. I don't think we've ever had national leaders as hell-bent on screwing the planet as we have with the Trump administration. That's why this Washington, in this Washington, we have the responsibility to continue to lead, to continue to make progress, to fight for this place we call home and for all of the people who live here. Nineteen sixty seven seems like a long time ago. WC was born in tumultuous times in our nation's history. As we did then, today we face an uncertain future. But was what was born of that time are the environmental and civil rights laws that we rely on today, and we'll use those laws and we'll work with our partners to protect the state that we love. Looking out across this room, I know that with this group of beautiful smart and passionate people, we have a bright future ahead. Before we break for dinner, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. I'd like to welcome and thank our first time sponsors, Microsoft, the Port of Seattle, and Seattle Public Utilities. A special thank you goes out to our champion sponsor, Seattle City Light. In 1975, WEC prevented Seattle City Light from, be, from building a few nuclear power plants. You're welcome. <laughs> Instead, they embrace energy conservation, and today they're one of the greenest utilities in the nation. I might also add that Martin Baker, now a WEC board member and then WEC executive director, met his wife through that effort. So win-win all around. And uh, I met my husband at a volunteer mailing party of WEC. So Megan Dahl, thank you for lining up the guys. I picked the best one. <laughs> I'd like to thank, thank Taylor Shellfish. We're honored to work with them to keep Puget Sound clean so we can all enjoy its bounty. And thank you to our sustaining sponsors, our supporting sponsors, and our contributing sponsors who will be identified on these slides.
thank you sponsors. And there's one last sponsor that I want to thank, and that's the Cascadia Law Group. Um, Cascadia has been a sponsor for, of our event for years. And in addition to being a super savvy, top-notch environmental law firm, two partners, Jay Manning and Rod Brown, have dedicated their time, energy, and smarts to our organization for many, many years. So a big shout out to Jay and Rod, and a big, and a big shout out to Cascadia. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. And now I'd like to acknowledge the elected officials who we have in the room here tonight. We're lucky to have a great group, so please hold your applause until the end. Our speaker, Bob Ferguson, Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, Puget Sound Partnership Director, Shada Sahandi, State Senators, Ruben Carlisle, Patty Kuderer, and Rebecca Saldana. State State Representative Lori Dolan, Jessen Farrell, Joe Fitzgibbon, Nicole Macri, Jerry Paulette, and Gail Tarleton. Um, our mayor in Seattle, uh, Ed Murray, is here tonight. King County Council Member Jeannie Cole Wells and Seattle Port Commissioners Fred Fellman and Courtney Gregoire. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Let's give them a round of applause. And finally, a big thank you to our table captains. Look at this room, we are overfilled. So thank you, cable captains, for bringing all your friends here tonight to help us celebrate. <laughs>